Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be looking at what employers are really looking for in a resume. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to mentor you to a rewarding career and to help you create a life you're proud of. And in that endeavor, I want to talk about resumes, more specifically what employers are really looking for in your resume. This is going to be unfiltered advice. Now, before I get into it, if you just happen to stumble upon this video, definitely grab my free ebook, The Unfair Advantage. It is a step-by-step -step guide on how to land that awesome job you've been looking for. It's a free resource. Definitely check that out on my website, 101mentoring.com. Now, for those of you who have seen my other videos, have read The Unfair Advantage, or are looking for that edge against your competition, you want real-time feedback from yours truly, then definitely check out my course. It's a career prep course. I will go over your resume, your cover letter, and we will do a mock interview one-on-one -on -one, and I will give you real-time feedback. Truthful, honest, unfiltered advice. Guys, this is the stuff that we dive deep into and really gives you that advantage over your competition. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. I'll have a link in the card or in the description below. So what exactly are employers looking for anyway? Well, remember when you are applying for a job, you are submitting both your cover letter and your resume. And in my previous videos, your cover letter is really about showing off your personality, whereas your resume is really the backbone of your experience. It is a straight to the point, fairly dead, but factual document that just says what you've done and where you've worked. So let's try to make an analogy here. Let's say you are looking for your favorite bag of chips and on the front bag, that's where you're going to have your delicious imagery. You're going to have maybe call outs on the front panel that says it's low in fat or it's a new flavor or something that really grabs your attention and it shows off the features. That front panel is kind of like your cover letter, right? You can really embellish, you can really grab people's attention. Whereas if you flip the bag of chips over, you look at that nutrition facts table, that is your resume. It's like a nutrition facts table. It is pretty much standardized information. It's cut and dry. It's straight to the point. You do not embellish on it. It's truthful and people can go there as a source of information to understand what's actually in the bag. So essentially your resume is telling the employers what you bring to the table experience wise. So when employers are looking at a resume, and I'm sure you guys have heard this stat before, they're literally taking seconds to skim over your resume. And what exactly are they looking for? Employers are really looking at where you've worked, what kind of education you have, but also your career progression. They wanna see, did you actually grow in your role? Did you go from maybe an assistant level to an associate level to a supervisor or a team lead level and so on? They really wanna see that progression. They also wanna see the big companies you work for. They want recognizable names, not small mom and pop stores, but if you guys have no experience or you've worked throughout high school, they wanna see if you've worked at places like McDonald's or Dairy Queen, like these big names, they want to hear or see that you've worked in these recognizable companies, then that way they associate what you've done much easier rather than a mom and pop store where maybe they don't play by the rules as much. So the expectations or the understand what you really did isn't as straightforward and they just can't make that close association as quickly as they can with other big brands. Now let's talk about education for a sec. Now I think a lot of people really think that this plays a heavy weight in your resume and for the most part it doesn't, but for others it might in the sense that it depends on the type of role. Some roles require a very heavy academic background. Now, this type of role might be like a scientific, a toxicologist role or a statistician role. Like these types of things really look at your education because it's so technically intense. But for the most part, for the vast majority of you, you guys might not need to rely on that or you might not be looking for that type of job. And as a result, your education experience isn't really heavily weighed. Instead, they just want to know what kind of basic degree you got, what other degrees you've got, and where you went to school. Not necessarily to judge you based on that, but just to know what you've got. Now you'll notice guys that I did not talk about 
spelling mistakes on your resume or format of your resume, whether you want to have an objective statement or not, that stuff is a given. You should know that stuff. Make sure there aren't any mistakes. Make sure you have a proper email address. Make sure you have your contact information on there. It is your right to play, to even apply. This stuff has to be nailed, so I'm not really going to focus my time on it. What's really key here, what employees are really looking for, three things where you've worked, recognizable brands, recognizable companies, your career progression, did you get promoted over the, the time you were there or how did you progress in your career, either skill set or through experience or through title? And then lastly, what kind of education you have, just to get a baseline understanding of what your foundation is, your capability of learning, and to get a sense of how much training you're gonna need. So there you go, guys. This is what employers are looking for. And this is coming from my perspective, hiring candidates constantly working in a publicly traded company that are always on the lookout for strong candidates. I know what they're looking for. I see that perspective day in and day out. Now, if you like what I had to say, definitely hit that like button. If you want to catch more videos, hit that subscribe button. And guys, remember that I also offer free mentoring. Just submit your questions to me through my website, 101mentoring.com, and I will answer that in a future video. If you guys are looking for more personal one-on-one -on -one mentoring, trying to get that edge over your competition, or want real feedback from yours truly, definitely go to my products and services page. It'll definitely support this channel as well as help you guys land the amazing job that you deserve. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.